Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how you can create your own accessories in ZBrush and quickly update them back and forth in Character Creator using the Pose Tools and Pose Link plugin. Let's get started by creating our own tools in ZBrush. In this scenario, we already have two poses set up in the ZBrush Pose Tools. If you're not familiar with how to add poses to your Pose Tools, please check out our introductory tutorials for this plugin. If we want to add a new accessory to our character, we first need to deselect all of the stored poses to return our character to its default pose. We then want to go up to Load Tool to import our two accessories we prepared. Once those are loaded, we want to first switch back to our main character tool, called Fur Cloak here, and click on Append to add in our Axe and Beerstein as separate subtools. Once those are added to the main character tool, we want to update them in Character Creator. We'll use Go Z for this and click All to ensure everything is sent over. In CC, the Go Z option panel will pop up and you can see the Create Accessory action for our two new accessories at the bottom. Simply click Update to bring them in. Initially, you'll find that the movement gizmo for both items is set to the scene root. So the first thing you'll want to do here is find the pivot section in the Modify panel and click the middle square to set the pivot point to the middle of each mesh. You can also click on Edit Pivot to manually move the pivot point. The next thing we want to do is use our gizmos to place the accessories properly in our character's hands. You can use the W and E hotkeys to toggle between Move and Rotate and move everything into place. Once that's done, we need to ensure that they are attached to the relevant boom. To do so, find the Attach section with your accessory selected and click on the ellipses to find the right hand bone. Now when we go over to Edit Pose, you can see that the axe will follow along when we move the character's arm. We can follow the same process to attach the beer stein to our character's right hand bone as well. Naturally, it will now also follow along with the arm movement. Once that's done, the next step is to update the locations of our accessories to ZBrush to ensure the data is consistent in both applications. To do that, click on all of the items in your scene and use the Go Z button to send them over with ReLink. Once they've been sent over, we can continue to send poses from CC over to ZBrush. To send any applied poses over, simply select Send Current Pose to ZBrush Pose Tools from the Pose Link plugin menu. As always, it's good practice to rename each pose with a descriptive name via the Rename button in your Pose Tools. Now if you only want to display a certain accessory for a specific pose, you can use the Visible function in ZBrush. For example, I can hide both the Stein and Hammer in our V1 display preset. However, in V2, I can use the Visibility options to only show the Hammer. You can use Shift Control and click on the Show slash Hide icon to show or hide all of your subtools. I'll then set up V3 so that it hides the Hammer and only shows the Stein. That way, if I use the Pose Tools to preview our first two Shrug and Celebrate poses, I can switch to V1 as neither of those require any accessories. However, for our other two poses, I can use the V2 and V3 presets to display the appropriate accessory. Finally, let's take a look at applying accessories in Character Creator and updating them to ZBrush. You'll want to ensure that your character in ZBrush is in the default pose with all of the subtools visible before heading into Character Creator. In CC, you also want to ensure that your character is also in the default pose before applying your accessories. Here, I'm adding in a shield and sword and repositioning them both properly. Again, make sure everything is visible to ensure proper update of the accessories in ZBrush, then click on Go Z once again. Here, since we're relinking all of the existing accessories, but also creating two new ones, 
it will default to a custom template. Once you update to ZBrush, you will now see the sword and shield as their own separate subtools. Once again, we can proceed to use the visibility presets in ZBrush to determine which subtools should be displayed and then import in new poses from Character Creator. Keep in mind again that when you import these new poses, that all of the accessories need to remain visible in CC, even if you will only be displaying one of them in your ZBrush pose. Then when you are in ZBrush and cycling through the poses, you can apply the appropriate visibility preset to display the desired number of accessories. That's it for this video guys, thanks for watching, and please be sure to check out our Reillusion Courses page for more information on the Pose Link plugin and Pose tools. I'll see you in the next video.